I've always hung this painting in a prominent place. It's the best he ever did. I always thought you hung it upside down. <laughs> feel it. You, you can feel a painting. Uh, the emotion, the tenderness, the love. Arthur called it red and blue on white or something like that. Well, see what a great artistic mind he had? He probably just cleaned his brush while he was painting the baby's room. <laughs> but why this painting? Because I studied it, and I, did, I realized it's a masterpiece. Studied it? This was painted by Arthur. What's there to study? Uh, I've learned about the influences that molded his art. The influences? Well, yeah, yeah. Look at these splatters. Um, they're very much in the school of Jackson Pollock. Whose school? Jackson Pollock. Oh, is that the new one on Fourth and Brindley? Well, why can't we just give a museum one of his paintings? Simple as that. Uh, museums don't hang everything they get. Uh, it has to be a masterpiece. It has to be valuable. What makes great art great? I don't know. Because it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever hang any of that junk you see in an art gallery in your home? Well, some of the colors are nice if they match the furniture. <laughs> Sorry, but the rules of the auctions clearly state that all purchases must be paid for at the auction. Unless, of course, a bond was submitted before the bidding started. Did you submit a bond? Mm -hmm. did, did I submit a bond, you ask? Did, 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 did I submit a bond? Uh, a, a, a bond. Did, did, did I submit a bond? <laughs> did you? I, 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 did, I seem to remember you telling me before the auction started that you would pay for the painting if you won the bid uh, with your client's check. My client's check? Yeah. Andy Burns, your client's check? What? Yeah, you're, you're Andy Burns, your client, you have his check? Oh, oh yeah, but, but the amount is... Oh, yes, of course. You're going to have to telephone him, aren't you, to, to get the authority for uh, putting the number on there. That's right. I, I call it. Hand over Andy Burns' check for $85,000. It's very noisy here, isn't it? Uh, we'll go over there to make a call. I'd love to speak to Andy Burns and tell him how important the painting is. The glorious beauty of this idea, I don't need money in my account to put money in your account. <laughs> you are the seller of the painting from yesterday. But I didn't sell it yesterday, I bought it. No, you bought it yesterday, today you sold it. Well, how can I sell it today if I already sold it yesterday? No, no, you didn't sell it today. You sold it yet today and you bought it yesterday. Then why did you say that? I didn't say that. You are the seller of the painting yesterday. And yesterday? You bought it. And today? You sold it. So you're me yesterday. No, I'm me today. You were right. They are up to something. Oh, I knew it. They've been together more since Arthur's death than the last 20 years. I bet it's another of Alex's get-rich-quick schemes. Uh. Alex told me that a man would be coming <laughs> to talk to him and Andy, but he didn't say anything else. So this well-dressed but distinguished man comes to the front door, and I let him into the living room, where I was summarily they ask you to leave without a word of remorse or regret. And what did you do? I did what any wife would do and told her husband was in an important private meeting. You eavesdrop. Precisely. <laughs> you can't trust a man left to his own devices. No, especially two men. Exactly. Well, oh well, unfortunately, since we put in the new carpet and acoustic ceiling tiles, sound in our household doesn't <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to remember that because we're talking about remodeling. <laughs> so, all I could make out was something about 30 paintings being sold. So what does that have to do with our husband? I have no idea, but it gets weirder. Yeah. Okay, all we have to do then is to go up to your workshop and uh, pay
paint 30 paintings by the night and uh, all those paintings is as good as in the manic. We're going to paint 30 paintings which are going to hang in an art gallery with values in the thousands of dollars by running along each painting and randomly slapping on colors. That about sums it up. <laughs>